Ah, good morning guys and welcome to today's products in focus. The US 30 there finally broke um, its potential resistance at 69.69 and even hit as high as 1700.1, 17,000 sorry, point one, uh, which is an all time high for the US 30 and the first time it's broken that level in its history. So um, the markets are very flat this morning. I can see uh, for the US market, sorry, uh, the UK 100, Germany 30 still going great guns as global PMI data outside of Europe came in very strong yesterday. European PMI was okay, nothing to write home about, uh, but global growth looks to be certainly um, a lot more confident now uh, after those data releases came out. And we've still got non-farm payrolls on Thursday to look forward to. UK 100 is now trading above both its uh, moving averages, uh, looking at tackling its next potential resistance at 68.74. Uh, the potential support is at 6774 uh, and as long as we stay above these moving averages that would be seen to be from a technical perspective anyway quite bullish crossover on the MACD most other indicators are neutral indicating there's still further room for maneuver um, looking at Japan 25 it's also gone up dollar yen kind of had reverse course slightly yesterday uh, but a very strong session still unable to break through potential resistance at 15488 um, but we're still looking pretty strong. Uh, if we do manage to move uh, a little bit uh, higher, uh, we are looking at 15.828. Keep your eye on dollar yen, and uh, obviously it's all about these economic announcements now that's gonna drive the market. So if we start getting some weak data, uh, things could spin around pretty quickly. So looking at dollar yen, uh, not really that much to report. It's kind of flatlining quite close to, to one on one spot 35. It did reverse course slightly there yesterday. Quite quite a bullish day yesterday. That'd be a, a, a bullish engulfing pattern. Doji formation there at the moment. Um, but we'll see if we start to creep back down a little bit lower. That would put a bit of a cap on Japan 225. West Texas crude is uh, coming back down to 105. Uh, volatile session again yesterday. Dollar beating is not really helping this that much at the moment. It should be giving it a shot in the arm, but uh, 105, getting that slow trickle down to there. This level is going to be strategic uh, over the next couple of sessions. Gold uh, has uh, been pretty flat the last couple of days. Uh, we did touch 1332 there on uh, on Tuesday before we retrace, retrace back down. We do have a doji formation right there. Uh, we are still looking like this symmetrical triangle trend line here might be acting as potential support. So we are in the middle of a, a, a ascending triangle formation right here waiting for a breakout one direction or the other. Uh, Euro dollar uh, actually came off slightly having a Monday hit, poten almost hit the uh, potential resistance at one spot 37.09 uh, which was also capped off by the 55 period SMA. Um, we could be looking at retracement back down to one spot 36.45 which is the next potential support level. However, cable is where all the action has been. Uh, it completely caned it last couple of sessions. Very strong uh, Monday session, strong Tuesday session. We were flatlining a bit today, but uh, we are, we're getting closer to one spot 72. Uh, we did actually cover yesterday. The next potential resistance is a long way away at one spot 75. Uh, and this represents quite an interesting opportunity for guys who are looking to trade um, cable. Should we get a retracement uh, a little bit lower? Uh, towards one spot 7048. Many people will be looking at this uh, to see if the support level, the broken resistance now acts as potential support, could provide an interesting springboard for some guys. So, um, in regards to economic data, we do have ADP private payrolls as ever, um, just before non farms. People will be looking at today, and you've got crude oil inventories. And if we fast forward onto Thursday, obviously that brings a, a lot more data again. Uh, you've got Eurozone PMI again. Uh, UK PMI services, you've got interest rate announcement from um, the Eurozone which will be constant uh, and you've got non-farm payrolls obviously due uh, and unemployment data in the US and jobless claims and the trade deficit. So there is so much data due out tomorrow, uh, it promises to be quite an exciting trading day. You've got the manufacturing, non-manufacturing business index as well so much uh, fundamentals and that's going to be a big driver now for most of these global markets especially when they're breaking fresh fresh ground um keep around the chart form as ever and insights and if we have a quick look at client sentiment for one second this gives you a bit of an idea as to the viewpoint of what many clients are um, are, are doing right now so short us 30 uh short uk 100 net short germany 30 after a big rally like this is quite common Whereas for FX, you know, GBP USD in particular, we're making such big gains now that many clients are going short. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.